Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. This is a general reading and it is meant from mid-March to the end of March 2021. So time is fluid and it may not resonate for everyone. Some of you may be going through this right now. Some of you may have already gone through this in the past. And for the rest of you, you may come across this in the far future. All right, so the deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Okay. <laughs> you have here awakening followed by sexuality. Then you have hearth and home. Okay, followed by sensuality. A lot of lust. Sagittarius, there's a lot of lust here this person has for you. Okay, so we have here awakening, sexuality, hearth and home, sensuality, power, illusion, betrayal, play, and under the bottom of the deck we have rhythms. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Sagittarius, I have come to a certain kind of mindset. I've had a realization, I've had an awakening moment, and I've come to the realization that I'm seeing things from a very different perspective. There's no doubt I find you so sexy. There is so much sexual chemistry. I feel so attracted to you. I can't stop thinking about your body. There is a part of me that has found in you a hearth and home. Wherever you are, that is where home is. And I do feel that where we are now, there is a sense and a feeling of family. I do feel as though you are family. A part of me, when I'm lost, I feel you are that person that can lead me home. You can guide me home. And I also feel that there is this part where there is darkness. You are that light. When I'm cold, you keep me warm. 
And I do feel this beautiful feeling of sensuality. You are so tempting and alluring. It's just so nice simply looking at you. I do feel that there is this sense of weakness. You have power over me and I do feel weak in the knees in your presence. I feel emotionally vulnerable and I also feel that you have this way of tempting me. There's this feeling of temptation and seduction. I do hide my feelings from you. There is this sense of illusion. I put up a mask. I don't show you what I'm truly feeling, how I'm truly feeling. I put this mask on and I say one thing, but I completely act in a different way. I hide behind a curtain and I hide my feelings. And in a way I know I have upset you. I have behaved in a way that is very different. That is not predictable. That is unlike something I would have ever done. Essentially you feel betrayed. I have acted in a way like a stranger. Overall, I do feel that this may have been more of a friendship where there was a lot of lust and there was a lack of recognition of emotion. I'm not sure if you realize that it's not just about the lust part. I realize that I do have deep emotions for you. There is mischief in your eyes and a part of me wants to really just simply have fun. I do want to have fun with you. I feel that there are these rhythms. Time goes by and these rhythms don't change. Our patterns of behavior don't change. But I also feel that no matter where I go, no matter what I do, I always end up thinking about you. Something always pops up and a part of me wants to cut to the heart of the matter and make a decision, a head over heart decision. And then there's another part of me that simply wants to make a sweet offer of affection. I know you may feel as though our relationship should have been more and it feels as though I was on a different page and so were you. I did not view this relationship the way you did. I was looking more for the physical aspect. And yes, I do consider you as a very good friend in my life. Someone I trust, someone I do care about. but I'm not sure what I can do if I've made 
such an impression. There were times when I felt different, but now my feelings are more so regarding friendship and lust, wanting to grow more with you and learn more about you. There is no doubt I do feel extremely comfortable with you. All right, Sagittarius. That was not an omen. I knew that was going to finish. So, my Saggies, cross watchers even. There's a few of you that I was really wanting to say, but here we have a few of you that have been in a connection where one of you thought that it was love and you thought it was, even if the other person didn't admit it. But now what happened is when things got a little serious, the actual category of this connection came out. When I see this card play with sexuality plus sensuality, this is almost, this is a friendship card, a friendship with sexuality, friends with benefits. This is something you never thought of, or maybe you did, or maybe the other person did, but one of you was under the impression that this was something, there was more to it. One of you thought that there was more to this connection. However, the impression was wrong. This entire time, the other person was very much in this thought process of having you in their life as someone with simply as a friend and simply for physical pleasure. So not all of you are going to resonate with that, but that is what's showing up here. And what's happened is this person does feel in a way that they have betrayed you simply because it's not they that they lied. Sometimes people don't say and express their emotions. And that is a problem. When they don't, that's when things get bad because we start assuming and we believe that simply because this person has done this, has done that, you know, we've spent Christmas together, our families have met one another, boy oh boy, sometimes that's not enough. It's very tricky when people are not open. All right, so let's have a look at what is one of the main issues that's causing a problem in this connection. Interesting, quite nice. And then we have the Queen of Coins. All right. So let's have a look at love. This is the Lover's Path Tarot. All right. Oh my God, people. Okay, let's see this. Feeling unworthy of love. This person is feeling unworthy of love. Manipulating others with sexuality. I can't bang on this table, but if I could, I would. Holy crappers, people. The fact that that just came out and you literally had such a lustful reading, that's, I mean, wow. Yes. For those of you that are dealing in the situation, definitely this reading is for you. There was a lot of lust. There was a lot of sexual manipulation here, people. And for those of you that gave yourselves willingly, 
You only gave yourself to this person because of your love, your heart. This is how they betrayed you. They got what they wanted, and now they're backing away. Oh, I just want to be friends, by the way. That's all I want. Good God. There's a lot of pain associated with stuff like that. It's not good. You can't do that to people. Here we have feeling unworthy of love. So the person that you're dealing with realizes that they have betrayed you. That's why you had the betrayal card. They're not regretful. That's another thing. They're not regretting it. But what they're doing is they're simply realizing that, yeah, I betrayed this person. Yeah, so I did. It's not smug, but it's just a realization. However, you know, somebody should feel sorry, right? Somebody should feel something here, but there's a lack of that because this person lives this kind of lifestyle. They thought that you were the same. They thought everything was fine and dandy. Here you have manipulating others with sexuality. That's what this person was doing to you, Sag. Immaturity. This person was immature. This person was irresponsible in terms of love relationships, and they were simply a player. Oh my. Okay, we have here the Queen of Coins. The Queen of Coins. All right. So we have here, there's a need for this individual to ground themselves. There was and still is an over-materialistic orientation to life. There is also dis disappointment in their home. So a few things. They really don't know what love is because of the type of background that they've had. This is either them seeing their parents, their aunts, uncles, whatever. Their best friend, you know, relationship not working out. Where, whatever experience they've seen, um, they have kind of adapted that. You see this person is immature, meaning they don't have that wisdom in terms of love relationships. So they're going around trying to create a picture in their mind as if this is the ideal type of relationship. But that's a problem. This person's learning from other people's mistakes, but also learning from other people's relationships. Not every relationship is the same because every person is different. This person's a player, Sag. You have to be careful, okay? It's like a warning here. All right, let's have a look at the beginner's tarot deck. judgment so this is similar to the rider weight so we have here judgment and then we have the eight of pentacles interesting oh no it's too many whoa two major arcanas here Holy smokes. This card has come around a lot uh, this time during these readings. Okay, there's three major arcanas here. Pretty intense. There are a lot of changes. There are really big desires to have a lot of change. The judgment card. Yes, this person wants a second chance with you because they see things a little different now. 
They want things to be more clear, more transparent. They don't want to hold back secrets any longer. And what do they want to do? Eight of Pentacles. They are going to be working on this. They're trying to find the best strategy. How can I get back into the life with Sag? How can I do this? Well, what they're going to do is they're going to try to put the past behind them. The death, death card is here. Put away all that they have done before, the way that they have done it, and start fresh with a new day. The day is dawning. Here is something brand new, something that is on a different level, something that has a different mindset. Like the awakening card, where there's a sudden enlightenment, the sense of awakening. Change has occurred. Change is occurring. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. There is this desire that someday, some way, we will meet again. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. This person is definitely juggling. They're juggling ideas, they're juggling people. They're all over the place, they're not focused. So they can't even focus on you. There is no 100% focus on you. That will come over time. Right now they're juggling ideas. What should I do? Because they're also trying to make some type of a plan, strategy. They're working on it. All right. Then we have here Dorian Virtue, Archangel Answer Cards. Let me just do a quick prayer. Okay. Who are you? <laughs> you are ready. All right. So, Sagittarius, you may feel that you weren't ready before. You may have thought that too much has happened and that either spiritually, emotionally, even physically, you might have felt that you're not ready for anything different. You're not ready to handle or deal with this person. But here, this is exactly what it indicates that yes, you are. Yes, you are ready. You are ready now to have and to make this peaceful resolution. Things that were very, very ups, um, upsetting before are finally going to come through and they're going to start to settle down. Yes, it's a positive, positive outcome in that case. And if you believe that this will happen, meaning manifesting, then yes, it will. The angels are saying, and these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel from the Abrahamic religion. We have here take action. They want you to take action because angels know, heaven knows what's for your greater good, what's going to make your soul happy and content. They know. So yes, they are telling you to take action and your choice. It's up to you. Are you going to take action or not? You never know till you try. <laughs> take action, but they want you to wait. There's no rushing it. Can't rush love. So they would like you to wait. Okay, here we have a very slightly complicated card. Why? Because compromise is never really something that anybody wants to do. We want everything our way. Here, Sagittarius, you are going to have to meet this person in the middle. You are going to have to accommodate them. They are going to accommodate you. You're going to let go of a few ideas, theories, thoughts. They are going to let go of a few of the same things. And eventually, you will be able to meet in the middle. There will be a compromise and there will be a peaceful resolution in this connection. 
it is going to work out, but you're going to have to change a little bit and they're going to change a little bit in order for this to work out. And that is your reading, Sagittarius. I hope I was able to provide some clarity and some guidance. And I will see you guys again next month. Thank you so much. You guys take care. Bye now.